I wanted to give you a, uh, a video uh, just real quickly kind of overlooking a little bit of what we're doing here uh, on the foreign field and this does not work on every field for instance in America I don't think this would be at near as effective not sure it'd be effective at all I mean might be worth a try uh, but on some foreign fields like here in Africa uh, certainly it is effective and uh, is effective here in South Africa where we are I think would be even far more effective in Botswana which I was still there to give it a try uh, <clears throat> but uh, what we've done is is very simply this we we're looking for ways to get the hook in the water as much as possible reaching as many people as possible and so uh, one of the ways we've done that of course is through correspondence courses which helps us find people who have an interest and then filter through those people who say they have an interest to see those that are faithful enough to continue on and then those are the ones that we work with. Now in light of that we need to be enrolling new students and one of the ways we do that is uh, right here. Uh, it's a new way that we just uh, started and it's a, uh, a magnetic marker that goes on the side, a little board if you will, that goes on the side of the car that I had made for both sides of my car and uh, the day that we put this on, uh, I was driving through on a toll road, stopped at a toll booth to pay. The guy stopped me, and uh, after he took my money, he then said, I want to know about that sign. I want to know, can I get some of those studies? That was very encouraging. A couple days later, I was out uh, getting ready to do a, a bike ride, and I was getting my bike off the back of my car, and uh, one of the workers there came running out and stopped me, a man, and... Uh, wanted to know if he could get one of those courses and what he needed to do to do it and so it's it's been effective here I think far more effective probably in some countries uh, than here in South Africa but it is effective here and so let me show you what the sign looks like real quickly and then explain kind of how we've come about this here and I think this will be interesting as well okay so here's here's what the sign looks like <clears throat> And you can see here we've we've offered here a free gospel study. Uh, we're asking people to do an SMS, send an SMS, and their address uh, to my cell phone number here in South Africa, which in turn then we're able to to send out for people um, the the Bible study. Now what we've called this is uh, free gospel studies. Now that's not going to work in every country either and you need to kind of pay attention to your culture. Uh, when I first came here I would have put uh, free Bible study on there but another missionary who had actually done this, this is where I stole the idea from, um, he had put one up that way and he said he kept getting requests for free Bibles. They didn't read the correspondence part. And so he switched his around to free correspondence Bible study and that seemed to cut out a lot of his problems but again uh, it's a pretty big sign, Correspondence Bible Studies. And so I, I got to kind of brainstorming a little bit and realizing that the word gospel here is probably as popular as the word Bible is, uh, decided to give that a try. And so far I'm very happy with the, with the response rate here. So uh, you can learn from other missionaries. You can learn from uh, things that they've tried that haven't worked if you take the time to listen to them. And uh, you can also uh, go beyond them by listening to the nationals and trying to find out uh, what they know as well. And so uh, if we'll be learners in a culture, there's an awful lot that can be done. So I'd encourage you to try out some different methods of reaching people. I hope this one's been uh, an encouragement to you and maybe be uh, able to spark some ideas for you in your respective ministries and different areas of uh, labor. God bless you.